and you don't want to be outside for too long either, whether you're at the bus stop or the train station. Denver 7's Jessica Crawford at the RTD station off Florida Avenue. Uh, we know the trains are running fine. How are the roads looking? Yes, the trains seem to be running just fine. We see a few of them already come here. Um, the roads are looking pretty good as well. So a little bit earlier, we heard talk about, you know, some of the areas across the metro that may have had the de-icer on them, how the roads in those areas are more wet. Well, here, that doesn't seem to be the case. The roads are quite dry here. What we have seen as far as trying to clear the snow out is we have seen some snow plows and it really does seem to um, have had a helpful effect for drivers because it's much easier to see the lines um, on the road. So we are starting to see a little bit more traffic now. You're seeing that cars really are not moving as fast as they can. They're probably going about 40 miles per hour at this point, just trying to avoid any collisions or any issues. We did see one car that appears to have had some trouble right over there and um, it is covered in snow. We're not knowing exactly when that car wrecked, but it definitely is just a reminder to stay safe out here and to take it slow. As far as Florida Station and people waiting for the train, we're finally starting to see some signs of life out here. Just a couple of people have waited for the train this morning and they were just completely covered. They had their parkas, they had their hats, they had their gloves. Um, definitely, if you're waiting out here, you're gonna wanna keep some, probably some warmers in your gloves, maybe even your shoes because the ground is holding a lot of cold. So just making sure that if you do get out here that you are bundled up. Live in Aurora, I'm Jessica Crawford, Denver 7. All good advice there. Uh, we know, Jessica, you've got two coats on. Not a bad idea this morning. Thank you.